Last minute rehearsals are underway before the grand final. Hila Fahima from Israel has made it through to the last round. She talks to the conductor to work out the right pace and when she can pause for breath. This is my first uh, competition, so I, I just... Uh, uh, I don't know how how am I uh, what what do I need to do in the competitions. I'm just now uh, uh, trying to uh, to learn how to how do I need to uh, work here. The rehearsals are taking place at Weikersheim Castle in southwest Germany. The organizers take care of everything, including the singers' itineraries. Ulrich Bölke is managing the event on behalf of the main sponsor. The participants have already had a week of intensive training. Their goal now is to win an award and a share of the 25,000 euro prize money. Some participants have to warm up their voices and acclimatize. They need to get a feel for the room, learn how to perform before a panel of judges and then accept their verdict. The costs for food and accommodation are covered by the hosts. The artists appreciate the attention given to them. The competition is now very popular among young singers. The people are really nice. You have the feeling that you're being taken care of. You're treated like an artist, not like just another number. It's fascinating to see how each participant gives it their all for their career. They also need encouragement and support. That support is often only possible with private funding. The main sponsor in this case is Wittenstein, a major mechanical engineering company based in nearby Igersheim. <laughs> Wittenstein makes transmission devices for the packing industry and other sectors. It's now a company with global operations and a global image. Ulrich Bölke is in charge of the company's marketing department. Doing PR for the arts makes a pleasant change. A lot of his colleagues were skeptical, though, about the payback from sponsorship deals like this. Initially, there were a lot of doubts among the workforce about why Wittenstein is sponsoring a singing competition. But over the last eight years, we've managed to convince them. Some of them are now big fans and want to be involved. And they also know how important the opera contest is for the region we live and work in. The company owner is willing to cover the costs, which amount to several hundred thousand euros. Shortly before the contest, he inspects the trophies. Oh. He reckons they're much better than Oscar statuettes. So what value does he see in the sponsorship? We're a company with social responsibility, one that takes care of people. I believe that sponsorship of the arts is a sound way of putting these joint tasks for society and business back in focus. Wittenstein also has additional sponsors on board. The competition final is a huge event on the local arts calendar. Companies are now understanding that providing generous support for the arts is considered good form. Backstage, the atmosphere is hotting up. The singers take photos and try and calm their nerves. Thank you. Thank you. So would you tell us? Yes. <laughs> Everything goes as planned. The participants are fully focused, even when they're not on stage. The judges are concentrating on the job on hand. It's the final countdown for Hila Fahima. She's feeling nervous.
her performance is flawless and the judges award her first prize. Yeah, I'm uh, totally surprised. I didn't expect uh, to win. <laughs> And I'm very excited and happy. Everyone is in good spirits, including the organizers. They're very happy with their investment. And for the winners, it's a decisive step towards a successful career in the world of opera.